Hey, listen, I got several videos doing this, but I'm gonna do it again because this is like one of the most requested videos, right? Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make, listen to this, we're gonna make fried cabbage, but we're gonna turn it up a notch and we're gonna add some shrimp. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, let's go ahead and just look at some of these ingredients while I go ahead and start doing a prep, right? Look, this is andouille. I just don't have no coffee. You know, that's my, my, like my favorite brand. You know, so, okay, so we got andouille sausage. We got a head of cabbage, carrots. We got an array of uh, bell peppers. We got an onion. We got that seasoning. This right here doesn't. Listen, now, I can use bacon because I do use start that, but I'm gonna put this down right here for y'all right now. Tell me how many of y'all saving your bacon grease. All right, so first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm finna, I've already washed all my veggies and everything, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just peel my, you know, my carrots. Now I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below. If we did a holy trinity, right? This is a quiz. I want you to let me know if I add carrots to it, what would that be called? All right, so now I'm getting ready to cut this down. You know what I mean? Just notice how I do this. You don't have to do it like this, right? I do it like that so that my bell pepper stand up, if that's the way I like it. So I'm kind of like in the habit of doing it. You guys do it the way you want to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it down. Okay, so look, you guys see the bacon, right? I'm gonna show you why I have that out. If you guys haven't been saving your bacon grease from you know, your previous cooks using bacon, then you use this and you can cut them down, blah, blah, blah. You got that, right? Then you can add that back to it later. But for me, check it out, folks. You know I keep that bacon grease. We are just gonna add a couple of tablespoons. It's okay if it's heaping, that's fine. Right off of the back, folks. Soon as that starts to melt, the aromatic that comes up off of that is just, mm. if you guys doing that pork, you want to do that, right? So look, now that I know that it's nice and hot, even having my, my wooden utensil in here, I can see it starting to sizzle back down on the bottom. I'm at that medium heat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just drop in my onions. I always start with my onions first. So we just go ahead and get the celery in here. It depends on how big you chopped it. You know what I mean? And actually I can go ahead, it'd be easier for me to do it with my hand. Then for the smaller pieces, you know you can use your knife. So it's two minutes on the onion, about one minute on the celery, and now I add the rest of my vegetables. Minus, let me I should, let me be spe specific, minus my carrot, because I'm gonna add my carrot, and then I'm gonna add my garlic last. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this andouille, right? So I'm gonna cut it here, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting it, you know, into slices like this. All right, so once you got them cut, however you wanna cut them, look, go ahead and just drop them in also. Let's talk about your seasoning. I'm gonna probably only add about two tablespoons of seasoning to this, right? You guys know that I love using Creole Kick. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this right here. I'm bringing salt to the game to help sweat it, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and add this garlic, right? Those of you guys been following me for a minute know that I don't have to have the camera on me. Trust me, folks, I'm smiling. I'm thinking about all of the years my granny had me mincing garlic when I could have just got myself a tool like this and did it. So, look at that right there. Oh yeah. Okay, so your veggies should be just about right. I know everybody wants to have a time, but the trip part about the time is, my medium is not gonna be your medium. I done been through that before. I done told people like medium low, low heat, and everybody seems to come up with something different, right? So if you look right here inside, look at these veg veggies. You could just see them, they're still holding their color. So that should about tell you about where they at. But I'm gonna say total, this has probably only been going for about, maybe about five minutes, just to get everything a little bit on the soft side, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my cabbage that I put in that you saw me just cut, and I'm gonna add it. After I get this mixed up pretty good, I like what I'm seeing right now. Only thing I gotta do now is add my carrots. After I add my carrots, I'm gonna hit it with the rest of my seasoning. We're gonna give it a mix. And the only thing we have left is what? That's that shrimp, folks. We add that last. You guys know shrimp don't take long to cook. We don't want it to be, you know, rubbery or hard. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna add that in. Right when I say these are ready, that's when I'm gonna do it. Put the top on so we can generate some steam in the inside, and then I'll check it probably in about like 
10 minutes, see where we at. If it's like the way I want it to be, you guys got to cook it to your desire, you know, softness and tenderness, right? But for me, I like mine a certain way, so I say about 10 minutes, I'm gonna check it. If it's close, that's when I add my shrimp, mix it all up, go about three minutes, turn it off, let it steam the other two minutes, because you're only gonna need about five minutes just with the steam to do these right there. Make sure you mix them up so they can get the flavor. Listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. I see you guys in 10 minutes. I want you guys to take a look at that right there. You see that right there? That's the steam. That right there is what you wanna know. That takes the guesswork out. You know that that's happening inside of your uh, pot. And that right there is making everything releases juices. It's getting smaller and tender. Okay, you guys don't see no steam right now because I just opened it up, but look, we gotta get to it. That right there, look at that. That is perfect. If I take this like this, I just tasted it just to see if I need to make an adjustment on my seasoning. I got it just right, folks. Now this right here is, mm, I don't even know what to say. Now, I'm just gonna tell you this. Now I'm gonna let it just go two more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add, you know, my shrimp, right? I've already, you know, deveined and peeled them, right? And even took the tails off, right? There you go, you guys can see them. Look at the color of them now. After five minutes, they're gonna be right. I let them go with a little bit of steam and I do my mixture now, you know what I mean? Because I want this to take the flavor profile of the uh, cabbage, right? And everything that we did to get them like that. As I stir them, you can just kind of like look at them. They'll start to tighten up, right? And then they start changing colors. But I do it like this. I'm gonna set a timer just for three minutes, folks. Put this top on here, three minutes. Okay, so as you guys can hear, look, my alarm went off. That was my three minute, right? Before I even open that up, I'm gonna turn off my fire. Right, no fire, I'm gonna leave this on top, just like it, you know, my top on, because I wanted to continue to steam. Now I'm finna set another timer. Okay, so two minutes is over with. We take this off the top right here. Look at that right there. Let me get bring this close to you so you guys can see it. I want you to get it inside of here. You see that right there? And look, I sprinkled a little black pepper over the top. Oh, yeah, nice, steel, soft, cooked. There you go. All I gotta do is just give it a little, and then if you look at the, Look at the liquid, that right there, ooh wee. Only thing missing right now that you guys don't see, what is that? Talk to me, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna tell you though anyway, only thing missing is them cornbread muffins. Look, I can't hold myself back, folks. I'm gonna just go ahead and start putting some of this in my bowl. I got it, this is a big bowl, but if you ask me, this is a hearty meal already on its own. And then if you're doing keto, Look, you want to talk about something that don't have no carbs in it? If it does have carbs, it's very, very low, right? So, you know I'm a meat guy, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm a shrimp guy. And did I mention I like veggies? <laughs> now that I got this in here, you know what? Only thing left to do is go ahead and get me a bite. I'm not going to fake the funk or nothing like that. I done already got me a bite. Matter of fact, I done got several bites, right? I don't know if you guys can see. If you come in here, this is the texture that I like. Still have some integrity. When I bite down on it, I can still taste it. It had that little leafy taste to it. You know what I mean? Uh, just everything about this is just all good. Hey, with that being said, no over talking. It's all about that eating, folks. Cheers. This right here, folks. A lot of you guys have had this already, but those of you guys that don't know, this is the meal right here. And you know what? I probably should have led with this too. It is so inexpensive. You know what I mean? Uh, and if you don't like shrimp, you don't have to add it. But listen, it adds just another notch to put the cherry on top. Now, check this out. I gotta let you guys know this. Listen, I got a new channel. It's called Bottoms Up with AB. That's where I make cocktails and I make mocktails. Mocktails, some people don't know what that is. I see that, you know, people ask me that sometimes. Mocktail, that's just a non-alcoholic drink, right? That's Bottoms Up with AB. Go by, check it out. Hey, and then I always add inside of one of them videos, I always say what the, you know, whatever the drink is, what I would pair it with. Now, with that being said, listen, talk to me in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Oh yeah, and tell him he making fire recipes like this. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.